If you go look back at the history of human populations, infectious diseases are one of the greatest existential threats. And yet we still don't have ways of diagnosing them, of treating them. There's just a handful of FDA approved diagnostics and therapies for like most of these things. Every day in this country, families are forced to make impossible choices when it comes to their health care. We all know that prescription drug prices are too high. There are around two million people in the world who are blind or visually impaired because of trachoma. And we believe there may be as many as 200 million people who are at risk. There are a billion people who live in the world's most remote communities. And while we've made great advances in medicine and in technology, our innovations are not reaching the last mile. Our audacious proposal is to create Sentinel, a global surveillance early warning system to preempt pandemics. The End Fund has an audacious idea. They believe we are the generation to end sickness from worm infections forever. If we trained an army of community health workers to learn even just 30 life-saving skills, we could save the lives of nearly 30 million people by 2030. We can eliminate trachoma in 12 African countries across the Americas and all across the Pacific. I started Serum, a not-for-profit technology company to turn discarded medications into a lifeline, just like the medications in this warehouse. We immediately prepared to scale up testing, contact tracing, treatment care, and then saw that it wasn't being done in the United States in that way. We've been focusing on how do we quickly prototype and get initial versions out of the applications we've been envisioning so that we could use them in COVID-19 response. Scout is for individual users to be able to track their symptoms daily as well as keep track of their contacts. And the other application is Lookout, which is the desktop dashboard where the administrators can kind of keep track of everything that's going on. We are working in 12 counties and train the trachoma lead surgeons. We demonstrate the surgeries for them and we give them up-to-date skills.